Real trap shit. Hey, what is going on, everybody? I am home. I'm back from work. And I've had a good weekend. Got to see my sister yesterday, so that was nice. Uh, we were able to paint, which was awesome. I painted something for the first time in a year. And so I painted, let's see if I can get this here. I painted this Boba Fett. It's a close-up of, uh, of his helmet. I think I want to do a whole series, maybe like Django Fett, The Mandalorian. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's something that I want to continue doing. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, really cool to see or to do that, to participate in a painting session. I've been meaning to do something very, uh, do something creative for a very long time. But anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, I wanted to do this series of videos. I have been picking up a lot of comic books from work. And so I wanted to share my hauls on this, maybe this daily series or this weekly series where I share my hauls and it'll just be part of my vlog. So it'll be like a very short five hours later. All right. So I did pick up a healthy stack of comic books and Let's put that in frame right there. And okay, so I did pick up a healthy stack of comic books. The first one is the Dis Disney Afternoon uh, Giant comic book, which is really cool. Uh, this would be the Rescue Rangers on the front. Big fan of the Rescue Rangers. Disney Afternoon was my childhood. Had to pick this up. This was a must pick up for me. Then I picked up X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 266. Really awesome. This I don't you know I don't know if this is the first appearance of Gambit. Have to double check. But uh yeah, really cool. I picked this up immediately because or the possibility of it being the first appearance of Gambit. So, yeah. Damn, son, where'd you find this? So I did do a quick research on Google, and this is actually the first appearance of Gambit. So I'm really happy to have this. Uh, Gambit is one of my favorite X-Men, uh, let alone one of my favorite superheroes. So really happy to have this in my collection. Oh my. Then I picked up this amazing Star Wars cover. Uh, I'm going to say it's an Alex Ross cover. Um, I pretty I feel pretty secure in that assumption. But uh, yeah, you get to see Luke, Leia, you get to see Darth Vader on just an amazing cover um i had to pick this up just for the sake of the cover and then i picked up captain america 323 this is actually the first appearance of u.s agent uh which i'm very happy to have uh uh just because i think u.s agent is gonna appear in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh my my my. Um that show which I have not yet watched, but um really happy to have this in my collection as well. And then also picked up the first issue X of X-Men Adventures. Uh besides like the two flagship titles of Uncanny X-Men and the Jim Lee X-Men of the 90s, this was my jam just because the panels and the art looked like exactly like the cartoon. So this was my jam from back in the day. Picked up a Donald Duck Adventures. I love the 90s. Walt Disney stuff. Um, anytime I could read some of that stuff, that newspaper print, 
uh, it just brings back all that nostalgia. So I had to pick this up. Then I picked up the Muppet Show from Boom Studios. Really awesome cover. I love Gonzo. I love the Muppets. I just watched the Jason Segel uh, Muppets movie. Uh, I think it's called just the Muppets and then the sequel to that which was amazing. Muppets Most Wanted. It, if you watch that movie, it was like Captain America, Winter Soldier times the Muppets. It was amazing. It was a great movie. Um, anyways, then I picked up this 90s Uncle Scrooge comic book. Really amazing. Happy to have this. Look at the, the number on there, 248. Wow, 248 issues. Okay, then I picked up this Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers comic book. Really cool from the 90s. You could tell with that price, $1.50. Let's go. <laughs> X-Men Adventures picked up another copy of this. Um, didn't have a copy uh, didn't have a number nine in my collection but uh really happy to have this i remember this episode so to have this in comic book form is really awesome um yeah really cool picked up the second issue of the savage dragon uh where the ninja turtles made an appearance really awesome i'm happy to have this in my collection this is actually my second copy of this so i'm really happy to have that then i picked up number one of the ewoks really happy to have this i know they just reissued uh the show on disney plus so looking forward to watching that um i i didn't I wasn't aware of that show when I was a kid. Uh, if I had known, I would probably be watching that more than the Care Bears, which was also a great show, but um, would have loved to watch that. Then I picked up uh, Marvel Team Up number 141. This has Black Suit Spider-Man, Daredevil, and Black Widow. Really cool. Um, look at the cover too the cover is just beautiful i mean this is the, the cover art is just beautiful enough to have it on your wall so really happy to have this next one up is this captain america annual number eight i uh, love this cover i think i picked up most of these uh comic books just for the sake of the cover uh i'm not sure who did the cover for this but that cover is pretty iconic as far as i'm concerned because when i would flip through the ads uh when i was like nine or ten um this always popped up in like possible subscriptions so really happy to have that then i picked up uh jla avengers crossover uh three of four this cover was done by george perez and george perez is one of the greatest comic book artists of all time uh he's also a freaking masochist because he will draw every detail every he will just draw every character he's just a madman like he he will just draw everything um, so highly detailed, but I love his art. Um, amazing. Then I picked up uh, Amalgam. So Amalgam is a, it is a crossover between DC and Marvel Comics. And so they will uh, make a hybrid of their two characters that are similar to each other. Uh, this is a crossover between Storm and Wonder Woman. I saw this and I was like, I've got to read this. I've got to have this. So, yeah, added this to my collection. And then the last one 
out of the pickups that I've brought is JLA Avengers or Avengers JLA two of four. And again, it is a George Perez cover with all of the characters on the front. Not as, not as uh, busy as the last cover I showed y'all. Um, let me see here. Let's put them side by side. But pretty darn intricate and detailed. Um, looking forward to reading this. I have number one. I do not have two or three. So now I do have this and I'm just one away from completing that. Hopefully, hopefully that comes by the, the bookstore sometime in the near future. But anyways, those are my pickups for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in. These are my pickups. I hope you all are safe. Take care, y'all. Till next time. Love. Okay, just kidding. So, one more book I forgot to add to the list. Is this free comic book day? Tick. Um, happy to have this because it's all new stories of the Tick. Uh, it was free comic book day, so I didn't pay for this. This was just added to my collection because I wanted to read the new stories of my f one of my favorite superheroes of all time, The Tick. Anyways, that would be it. Sorry to leave that out. Um, but yeah, those are my pickups. Thanks for watching, y'all.